You're watching the SCAC Men's Basketball Media Days. It's day four, and it's time to take a look at the Colorado College Men's Basketball Program. The Tigers coming off a 12-14 and 14 season, 7-7 seven and seven in SCAC play, and a trip back to the SCAC tournament. The Tigers will once again be led by head coach Andy Partee, Partee and senior guard Edmund Pendleton. And coach, Edmund, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. Coach, we'll start with you entering your 12th season now. With respect to the work that must be done, what do you love about this time of the year and, and preseason, and what is the key in your eyes in terms of setting up a foundation for, for a good season? Uh, actually, it's my 13th year, but 12th in the SCAC. Um, you know, setting the foundation is always exciting because uh, of the newness uh, of the season, um, especially when you have young players like we do this year. Um, it's almost like you're coming into the gym and a lot of glasses are half full and um, they're malleable, uh, full of energy and, and, and ready to grow. And so uh, that's always nice every year to go in when everybody's fresh and eager to get going. Um, you know, the, the goal is to withstand that energy and sustain it uh, over a long period of time. Edmund, for you now in your senior season, uh, you've really seen your role expand and change throughout the, the years there at Colorado College from your freshman year to now your senior year. How have, you know, just talk about that progression that you've sort of taken on as a player and what are your expectations now heading into to your final camp there at Colorado College? Definitely. Great question. Um, I've definitely seen my role expand tremendously. Um, freshman year, I really knew coming in that I'd be providing a role, a supportive role off the bench, you know, not really playing at all, but and then transitioning into sophomore and junior year, I increased a lot of playing time, started about half my, my games, and really grew into a role as kind of leading from behind, but also trying to just supply whatever the team needed in that moment, whether it be three-point shooting, rebounding, defensive play. Um, and then I really enjoyed the process of um, transitioning into a leadership role as a senior. Um, it's been fun. We have, as Coach Partee touched on, we have a large group of freshmen who have made a really entertaining and exciting for me and I think the group of returners is really tight-knit and I think it's made it easy on on me as a senior leader to um, kind of seamlessly lead this group into the new season and I think we've really developed some good chemistry early on. Coach, we've talked about this incoming freshman class. I think 11 in total. It's a huge group. What kind of challenges present themselves to you as a coach when you bring in that many you know, new faces to a program? Freshmen always have an energy that you really can't duplicate. And what have you seen from that freshman group that, that gives you confidence going into the season? Well, the challenge is certainly um, I, I think every coach wishes they had, uh, you know, how am I going to distribute all these minutes, um, or I should say 200 minutes, uh, to so many guys, um, you know, keeping them energetic, um, uh, doing the best we can to keep them happy as uh, uh, some of the guys start to fall into certain roles. Uh, some begin to uh, distinguish themselves, um, you know, but uh, uh, that's the fun part. Um, the challenge is to get them all around the learning curve uh, at the same rate. Uh, which never really happens, but uh, uh, you do like to see some really uh, excel uh, and, and grow at a, at a much faster rate than your average freshman. And I think we've seen that uh, in these past couple of weeks. Edmund, you, you look at this team and, and it's coming off a season last year in which you closed out the year five and three in your final eight games. One of those losses being a tough double overtime loss to Centenary. How did the way that this season closed uh, and, and sort of that positive note help springboard this group? Is that energy for those returners that you can really feel that rolled over into this season? Yeah, I think definitely in some senses we're using the momentum from last year. But I think more so it's, it's the excitement of having a new group. Um, I think a lot of people, the fact that we were picked eighth in the conference is, um, I think we kind of felt a little disrespected by that fact, and that I think we're using that as momentum more so in this, you know, this preseason. Not necessarily the momentum from last year, but this new group, and we really believe in ourselves as a returning group that maybe is not um, quite as understood because we don't have as many returning players um, with within the conference. But we feel really confident, and that's more of our, I think, driving force going into the year. 
You're watching the SCAC Men's Basketball Media Days. It's day four. We're taking a look at the Colorado College Men's Basketball Program. We're joined by head coach Andy Partee and senior guard Edmund Pendleton. And Edmund, you're coming off a season where you had a career best 649 minutes last year. You started 13 games. You averaged 5.4 points and 4.7 rebounds per contest. You also had 46 total assists. What did you work on through the course of the offseason individually as a player to continue to grow and get better out there on the floor for the Tigers? Yeah, so I, I really tried to um, work on my ball handling, my role as transitioning probably into a point guard position or a two guard position. Um, so I've really tried to develop my court awareness, my ball handling, um, learning how to lead um, on and off the court. I think I've also really worked hard in the weight room trying to put on a little more weight this year so I can play physical with smaller guards. Um, but yeah, overall, continuing to get in, get in a lot of shots, um, which I've traditionally relied on a lot in my spot up game. But I think, yeah, primarily really becoming a point guard or a two guard that can really handle the ball and lead, lead the team effectively. Coach, you look at this league a season ago, it was so tight from top to bottom. You know, in fact, your 7-7 your seven and seven record in SEAC play was, was one loss away from being tied for second in the SEAC. What do you think ultimately will separate the teams at the top this season? And how important is it to get off to a, to a fast start to end the year to try and gain some separation? Well, that's a good question. Um, you know, not knowing too much about the newcomers in the league, um, and I think the separation uh, might be similar to last year. Um, uh, there are some teams that uh, aren't as young as we are, so uh, veteran players might make that separation uh, a lot easier for some programs. Um, but uh, in recent years for us, uh, I think just depth may be a factor. Um, something that we struggled with due to injury the past couple of years. Uh, so, you know, it could be a, a variety of things. Um, like I know from experience, it could also be a game of matchups. You know, some teams will match up well uh, with some and, and not so well with others. So um, it, it's tough to put your finger on it, but uh, I think we're pretty excited to uh, uh, find that answer. Edmund, this is a, a team that defensively a season ago was best in the conference with respect to points allowed per game, 73 uh, points uh, given up per contest. How important is it to continue that trend going into this season, and how key will that be for, for this team to have continued success going into the year? Definitely. Um, defensive principles have been one of our key emphasis um, in this preseason and kind of building off of what we established last year, building our identity as really – a defensive team first, um, I think is going to really help us. Um, you know, obviously you can't control whether the ball is going in a lot of times, especially when you're on the road. But if you have an identity as a hardworking, um, defensive minded team, then it can win you a lot of games, especially um, tough not, or tough conference games down the stretch. So I think we're really trying to reemphasize that again this year and, and build on that identity that we established last year and previous years I've been here. And finally, to wrap things up with you, Edmund, when you've had discussions with your guys about the goals uh, for this 2018-19 season, what have those discussions sort of looked like, and what will be important for this team in order to accomplish uh, the, the goals you have set with this season? Great question. So we've, we've talked a lot about it, especially the returning guys, um, and trying to incorporate the new guys into our, our vision of who we want to be as a team, the culture we want to build, and that we have, have built in the past. Um, I think we've really... Instead of focusing on results this year, we kind of really dedicate ourselves to the process, especially in the beginning, the beginning of the year. Um, obviously, the ultimate goal is to, to be conference champions, regular season and um, tournament. But we really haven't discussed that too much. We've really been more focusing on the process and doing the little things right. And we know if we pay attention to the small details that the results will come if we work hard. So, And finally, Coach, to wrap things up with you is – you look at this group this season, and, and for all the fans and people that are going to come out and support this Tigers program throughout the year, what do you hope really become characteristics of this team? What do you hope really become themes and DNA with your guys that you know people that come out night in and night out, night out regardless of the result, they can really you know expect to see from your team? Um, certainly. The, uh, the one thing I think that we've all focused on was the energy uh, that we put forth every day in practice. Uh, and that being a byproduct of the process that Edmund spoke about um, and then winning being a byproduct of that. Uh, but also the camaraderie and the togetherness. Um, you know, with all these young guys, we're expecting to embrace adversity uh, and, and hopeful that uh, 
the energy that we see day in and day out in our practices will get us through the adversity. Uh, but I think people will be excited to see some new concepts in how we play. Uh, but first and foremost, the energy and enthusiasm that these guys are bringing every day since day one. Colorado College men's basketball program. Again, the Tigers will be led heading into the season by head coach Andy Partey along with senior guard Edmund Pendleton. Colorado College will get the year underway on November 16th when they take on Iowa Wesleyan. Coach Edmund, thanks so much for your time and best of luck as you head into the season. Thanks for Thank having you. us.